So a couple days ago, the Big Ten and Pac-12 have announced that they are canceling their seasons due to the pandemic. And I'm going to state if it hurts them or helps them. Let's go. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Drew Olson, known as Kid 99 and yes, I am back with another video. And in this video, it's completely random again. Big Ten and Pac-12 canceled their seasons due to the COVID-19 pandemic. And um, I am going to give a thing about each team, whether it hurts them to not have the season or it helps them to not have the season. And spoiler alert, not all of them, in my opinion, hurt. In this episode, I because it's going to be two, I am going to do the Big Ten because that was the first one to go. And then the next one, it'll be the Pac-12. And if the other three decide not to have the season, then they'll go in their respective orders. So without further ado, here's the Big Ten. Illinois, it helps. So first off is Illinois, and I think it helps them. I think this gives them the opportunity to get themselves prepared for next season and, you know, go through and kind of get some more recruiting done. Illinois isn't that really good in football until like last year where they had, they beat Wisconsin on a game winning field goal. But in my mind, I just see Illinois struggling this year in football. I think this will help them get the feel back in there. So in my mind, I think Illinois, this helps them. Indiana, it helps. Similar to Illinois, I think this helps Indiana. Yeah, Indiana's kind of the bottom feeder most of the time of the Big Ten in football. I think this helps them. I think they get a time where they could just like meet their guys. If they can get practices in, then that'd be great. They could still work out and do all that stuff, meet their teammates. But I just see their football schedule being a little bit tougher than a lot of others because they got Michigan, Michigan State, Ohio State, Penn State, all in the same, and they got to play them each year. I think it helps them that they're not going to play them because they don't have to face those big schools. So, for the sake of Indiana, it helps. Iowa, it hurts. Iowa, this hurts. Um, they are one of the top teams in the Big Ten, especially in the Big Ten West. They're usually one of the front runners behind Wisconsin, Wisconsin and maybe Nebraska and last year Minnesota. They were one of the teams that decided that they were wanting to play. And it hurts because their vote didn't go their way. It could do something unexpected and try and get into a conference just to play one season with them. But I think this hurts them more than the other two that I just stated. So Iowa, this hurts. Maryland. It helps. University of Maryland, um, this helps you guys. I think this is a good opportunity for you guys to get better and also be a team where you could be like seven and five or eight, eight and four next year and possibly be a good team. Cause I know they'll probably give each of the athletes another year of eligibility. So I think this will help you guys cause then your core will be a lot better. So, for the sake of the Maryland Terrapins, um, this helps you guys. Michigan, it hurts. Michigan, the big old blue. Um, this hurts you guys. I, I don't care if you guys voted that you were against playing the season. This hurts you because not only do you not play at all, it kind of hurts your fan base because you're one of the blue bloods of college football one of the most winningest programs of all time won some national championships and you're not going to play the season which means that it will come up that you won't play your big rivalry games and we'll talk about those teams later your wolverine team is gonna struggle if you guys don't play the season because i know players really wanted to play but with your president saying that you're not this hurts so it hurts you, Michigan. I'm sorry. Michigan State, it hurts. And I'm going to call them their younger brother, Michigan State, because, well, that's what I really think. Michigan State, this also hurts because you're also one of the top tier programs, especially in the most recent years. I think this hurts you guys because not only do you not get to play your division, you miss out on playing Michigan, which I know that game is like KU and K-State on steroids this hurts you guys because you guys don't get to play those rivalry games you don't get to play notre dame again which is bad in 
a way. I see it with your guys' enrollment, it's over 50,000, so I kind of see why you guys said no, but I think this hurts you in the long run. Minnesota, it hurts. Minnesota, this hurts you guys too because you came off one of your best seasons in years and you guys aren't gonna live up to the hype or play. I think your guys' rivalry with Michigan is top notch for the old um, the jug. I think you will be at the top of the division if you guys would have played. You'll probably be in the top three. You guys will have another good season, I think. And now that's not gonna happen, so this hurts. Nebraska, it hurts. The Nebraska Cornhuskers, this hurts. And I know it hurts because your players and coaches and everybody else except your president or chancellor or whatever you call them said no and you guys are mad. Nebraska, one of the most story programs in all of college football, five national championships, most of them with the Big 12 when they were in the Big 12, made it to a couple championship games in the Big 10, but have died down. Yeah, I would still see you guys more of the middle of the pack, but I would see you guys making it to a bowl game at least. This hurts and the bad thing about this is that I've heard that you guys were gonna go rogue. I don't know what the Big Ten will do if you guys do that. Right now, if nothing happens, I say this hurts, but if you guys actually go rogue, I say it helps. So right now, for the sake of the video, I'm gonna say it hurts. Northwestern, it helps. Northwestern, you're one of the tougher ones for me to pick, but I'm gonna say this helps. Now, I don't follow that much Big Ten football, really. I'm more of the Big 12 guy. But I've seen how Northwestern has done in the last couple years, and they've done pretty well. I just don't know much about you guys where I can say definitively that this helps you or this hurts you. I'm just going to say it helps, but if I change my mind, I will. And it'll probably be in the video where it says it hurts. But if not, then this helps you guys. Ohio State, it hurts. The Ohio State University Buckeyes, this hurts, no doubt. You guys are one of the top teams in the conference every single year, and oh, being one of the blue bloods of college football, not going to play the season, a national championship contender almost every year, this hurts you guys because now it makes you look like you're chickens flat out chickens like you just don't want to play you just want to hold your title and run for the hills i really think that you guys should like have voted no i would honestly think you guys had voted no but you didn't so for that sake i am going to say that this hurts the buck guys back big time penn state it hurts Speaking of Ohio State that they need to play football, here's another team. Penn State, this hurts you too because you're also one of the top teams in the Big Ten East and you're at the running for the national championship every year. Even when Joe Paterno was your head coach, you were still fighting for national championships. Penn State, this hurts you guys because you have a chance to make it to the conference title game, win the Big Ten, and possibly go on to play for a national championship. And that's not going to happen. I think you guys have a talented team, a talented group. You guys are on the incline to do success and be in the playoff when Ohio State's reign of terror on the Big Ten is over, which I don't see that coming in a while. But for save the video and keeping it short, Penn State, this hurts you. Purdue, it helps. Purdue, um, this helps you, I think, even though you guys are one of the bottom tier teams in the West Division and also the Big Ten in general, I think this helps you because not only you don't get to play your division over and over again or teams in the Big Ten, but it also helps you get ready for next year, which means I'm guessing you guys are going to have eligibility. Your core will just be bigger, better. I think Purdue could be a bold game team. I think they'll go six and six or seven and five possibly. So for Purdue, this helps you guys. Rutgers, it helps. Rutgers, don't care what you guys think. If you say this hurts you, it's not true. I think it helps you. You guys are the bottom feeders of the Big Ten 
in everything mostly football you guys are usually like two and ten one and eleven three and nine yada 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 but i think this helps you because then your rebuilding process goes by quicker i think that you guys have a chance to regroup and possibly get better i'm saying possibly because i don't know for the sake Rutgers, i say this helps you wisconsin it hurts and last but certainly not least the wisconsin badgers and this hurts you guys i say that you guys would have been the top of the west division and had a rematch with ohio state for the big 10 championship could possibly win it never know you guys being the top of the west division would every year and not having a season kind of hurts you and hurts your reputation a little bit in my mind wisconsin's been a little bit of a blue blood in the last couple of years and i think this not having the season kind of takes away credibility so for this reason and this reason only i say that wisconsin not having a season hurts you and that is it for help or hurt yeah i figured out a title leave a like comment share subscribe push that notification bell to your friends about these videos let me know what you guys think about the big 10 should i change my mind on northwestern say that it hurts instead of helps um am i wrong on some some of these in your mind just let me know but keep it nice because i know youtube's algorithms all changed and i can have the authority to block anybody who comments meanly but anyway that's it i will probably do another video for the pack 12 soon so for that sake, thank you guys for watching and until then, never ever bring exotic dancers to the field house. Peace.